Good morning, Magic players. I'm Gavin Verhey from Wizards of the Coast. And today I am so excited to get to preview a Core Set 2021 card, and maybe even more excited to have Ryan Yi, the card's artist, on the show. Welcome aboard, Ryan. Hey. So Ryan, what's the background on yourself? I'm from Arizona. I went to an art institute of Phoenix. My dad was an illustrator growing up. Um, he actually did airbrushing, which is like a dead art now. I just remember going to the comic book store as a kid and like, I love fantasy art. So it's just a dream to really do like magic art art now. You've been doing magic art for a while now. When did you start exactly? Uh, my first card was actually for M10, I believe. And it was um, Phantasmal Beast. And I also worked on this other card, Fire Servant. Um, but my first really big card was actually Command Tower, which is just a few more after that. And it's appropriately behind you. And that card is sweet. I've signed a couple of them over, you know, the past couple of years. Just a few <laughs> the fun story about that, I um, sent an email. I was like, how do you want me to show the magic in this magic pool on the top? Because it has to be every color, mana, you know. And his response was, uh, magic in the past has done a lot of rainbow effects. And I want to steer away from that. So that's how we ended up getting the, the colors that are represented now. And I'm happy with how it didn't get too colorful and crazy. No, I think it's a great piece that creates this kind of epic mood. You feel like you could be watching some really, really like epic scene in a fantasy movie. It's all about the scale birds that make it feel epic. <laughs> It's true. Gotta love those scale birds. A great little art trick. Now, would you have any pieces that you're like, oh man, this is one of my favorites that I've done? I mean, how do you choose your favorite child? I mean, you can, and it's easy. You just don't tell them, right? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Technical wise, I would say Elspeth Conquers Death. Um, that was one of the most difficult ones I did. Just doing every single tile piece was just um, a lot of work. But um, when it comes to my favorite, I also really like Die Young for Kaladesh. That was probably more of a personal piece for me. It was really cool to show that moment for this Aether Born because it was such a sad moment, but also I think that paired with the flavor text, it was very powerful. And then just for aesthetic, I've always loved uh, Parasling. And to me, this is a great example of an absolutely gorgeous piece that you might not have never played with because frankly, the card is not that strong, but every card has a story. What was it like doing that piece? I just like how simple it is because sometimes you see these characters and they're doing crazy stuff and there's like a billion things in the background but it's nice to just like paint a moon, you know, sometimes. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna reveal the card Mistral Singer from Corset 2021 that Ryan did the art for. And I wanna start by reading off the art description and kind of we can take a look at Ryan's process after getting this description. So here's what he got. Color, blue creature, location, a stormy sky with crackling lightning in the clouds. Action, show us a female siren of your design flying through a thunderstorm. Maybe we see some ships being capsized in the roiling waters below. A siren is a bird-winged humanoid with feathers covering its head. Focus, the siren. Mood, navigating the skies. And so after seeing this description, where did your uh, head go? Since they asked me to design it, I was just really excited to get that assignment. So I just started sketching out character design and what I thought would be a cool looking siren. And I kind of thought of it as like clothing in a way, like designing the feathers and the way they're mapped to a character as the way somebody would wear clothing. So there's almost like gloves around the hands and, you know, there's like shoulder piece that would be like a shoulder piece that would somebody wear. I kind of wanted to go for more of like that the siren was kind of uh, doing this like sort of modern dance. And is this kind of you showing it dancing and moving through the air a little bit? Yeah, I wanted the flying and the way that the character was moving to kind of be echoed in the wing shape. And I'm just like trying to explore every single idea possible because one of those has got to stick. In the um, lineup, the middle one was one that I was just really too excited to go into color with. And I actually ended up using some similar like colors in the final. And then what was your next step? Where did you go from there? Um, from there, I just tried to distill it to like two to three that I like love with the sketches. And they all actually began to do like more color on top of them. What drew you to these colors? What made you want it to be such a bright character? I was uh, looking at a lot of really vibrant birds and you know how birds basically have really colorful patterns to attract mates. But when it comes to birds, like I'll just go on Pinterest and just like start opening tabs and I'll have like a hundred 200 images of birds after a couple <laughs> hours and it's like a little crazy but for that part, that part the reference part is really fun because it's you actually learn a lot so you sent in these initial sketches and do you remember what kind of feedback you got back i got a chance to work with uh, taylor ing barson on this and it was really fun because they let me design the siren and 
usually you don't get a lot of chances to do the character designs for magic and i like that they trusted me with that their request was to keep the arms in front of the character and i totally agree with that because i feel like they kind of get a little lost in the image because they're behind the wings mm -hmm. um so it ended up making the image better in the end you took that feedback you focused on number one and you came back with your take on the final right here and what were the main things that you focused on evolving from that initial kind of sketch that you sent in over to here? Well, at this stage is like where I actually start to collect reference and to make it look a bit more believable. Um, but I put the, the arms in front, I dropped it down so it kind of led the eye up to the face more because the arm kind of makes his arrow up. Um, and I think it works a little bit better. It also helps with the pose. So the last step would probably be the detail step. And that step is like the hardest because it's the point where you start to question whether you hate this artwork or not, but you just have to power through it and everybody goes through that. How often do you get to that point in the stage and you're like, oh man, what have I done? What have I created here? Maybe every 20 minutes, every time I flip the canvas, I'm like, oh no, what am I doing? Many of you out there watching are probably wondering, well, okay, we've seen this great art piece. What exactly does Mistral Singer do? Well, I'll snap my fingers. And here is Mistral Singer, as you'll find it in Core Set 2021 Booster Packs. You know, in limited, a uh, three mana 2-2 two, two flyer is kind of a staple, and to have prowess is a big boost, so I expect this to see play in a lot of limited. I think it's another great example of, once again, how every single card has a story. You know, it, it might just be a common in the set, but it went through a full art iteration. We spent a lot of time and energy on creating it. And so as you're beating down with this card in limited and first picking it in your drafts, think about the awesome work that Ryan put into making this happen. I think that's really, really cool. Given that you did this piece, probably over a year ago now or so? Is there anything you look back and are like, oh, I wish I had changed that or I wish I had tweaked this or is this good by you? Um, my final thoughts are um, wings are really hard. <laughs> <laughs> I think those wings move maybe like five or six times throughout the image. It was good that it was a digital painting because it was really frustrating drawing the wings, but you know, you learn something every single time that you're making a new piece. Yeah, and now next time you do something with wings, you can take those learnings or simply just say, actually, uh, I'm good on the wings. No wings for me this time. Well, Ryan, uh, it's been awesome having you on the show. If people want to find your work or even maybe pick up some prints from you, where should they go to check that out? You can find my work um, on Instagram. Um, my username is Art of Ryan Yee. And also I'm on InPrint if you want to pick up a print there. And also I have, uh, do you want to hear an art dad joke? Yeah, I absolutely want to hear an art dad joke. What do you do when you're working on a painting of a siren? I have no idea. You just wing it. Hey, there we go. Very, very nice. Well done, Ryan. Great way to end. I'll talk with you all again in the not too distant future. And in the meantime, may your sirens turn out exactly as you intend for them to. You got this.